And we're going to go ahead and put our finished valve in. This is the rough end valve uh, with the water turned off. We're going to take it apart and put the uh, finished piece together. Some of you may have this uh, plastic piece still connected to the uh, rough end valve and the surface area of this would be flush with the uh, surface of your, your tile. I've decided not to use, use it and I took it off, but if if you have yours on there, then your uh, your cover plate's going to screw through the holes into the back holes of the, uh, the rough end valve. I decide not to use it again, and I'm just going to screw my plate directly into those. So to put this together, we're just going to take the uh, cover ring off. Make sure your water's turned off, else you'll have water everywhere right now. Remove the uh, test plug. And if you have a test screen in here, go ahead and, that's what it looks like, go ahead and remove it also. Okay. With your rough end kit, you should have got a uh, the final uh, body that goes into the valve. There is a hot and a cold side to this. There's an H right here, which stands for hot, so I gotta make sure it goes in with the, the hot to the left. And there's, there's holes in here where these O-rings plug into, so it should just fit right in there. Okay, so we we use the hot side in on this, and we're going to just push it into place. There's a little V groove cut into the metal body, and it fits in there. It's all the way in, and, and that's where it goes right there. It's set. So all we have to do now is screw this ring back on here, and it holds it in place. You don't have to wrench tighten this, it says to hand tighten. Okay. There's an O-ring that sits behind it. And it's, it's a spacer ring, it's not a, a ring that seals. So you'll see here in a minute what it does. What it does, it takes this cover plate and, and kind of holds the back end of the cover plate from moving. There's also a ring if needed for the front, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this plastic ring inside, inside the cover plate too. And this whole assembly just slides on there, just like that. And see now, it, the plastic ring in the front and the old ring in the back keep this from moving. So now we're ready to put our cover plate on. There was some foam rubber behind here which stops the water from going into that, that hole in the tile. As we tighten this against the uh, marble, it will provide that seal. See how it's pulling down.
So now we have a good seal. You don't need any silicone around here because you have the seal in the back of here that keeps any water that's coming down from the wall uh, from going into the hole. All right, we're just gonna mount the handle. One screw that holds the handle to the assembly. Okay, we're getting ready to mount the uh, the tub spout on the uh, on the tub. What we're going to do first is we're going to wrap this with tape. It has threads on the inside of the, the spout. We're going to thread it together, and we're going to slip. Has an O ring in here that seals. So you want to make sure all this is clean. There's no sharp edges on the pipe. And then we're going to slide the whole piece on, the whole assembly on together. And from underneath, there's a there's going to be a screw that you set. And you don't want to over tighten that screw because that's copper pipe, and you don't want to you know dent the pipe too bad. So let's go ahead and get started. Get some tape on the. Uh, there's also an O ring, so you probably don't need to tape it. But I'm gonna just tape it anyway, just for extra. And this assembly screws inside. Okay, I have to make more one more round and get my uh Now I have the screw lined up with that one screw lined up where my slot is. So now I can just slide the whole thing on and take my Allen wrench. All right, that's not going anywhere. So now we have that installed. Okay, the last is the shower spout. I'll take my old plug piece. This I was just using this to plug off and test the uh, pressure test for no leaks. Take it out. Got our new piece. Uh, got our new piece taped. I'm also going to use some uh, pipe sealant just for extra uh, leak-proof protection there.
I just hang it right there and then the uh, spiral itself screws right onto it. I get my bars, I'll tighten that up and we should be done. So, pretty much have all the pieces in place. <laughs> 